Hello, and welcome to 1000 Plus Earthfacts first special. Let's dive in. And today we are going to be talking about one of the most interesting animals of all time that are now extinct, known as the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs came in many different shapes and sizes, from long necks to huge sails on their backs. In reality, a lot of dinosaurs look different than people thought they did. For example, let's take the Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. Six feet tall, scaly, but that wasn't how it was in reality. It was actually the size of a turkey and covered with fluffy feathers. It was the same way for a lot of other dinosaurs, including Tyrannosaurus rex. Some dinosaurs, such as Velociraptor, hunted in packs to bring down larger prey, considering their size. And some dinosaurs, such as Brachiosaurus or Iguanodon, moved in herds. The time of the dinosaurs, or the Mesozoic era, was split up into three parts. Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. The first dinosaurs, such as Coelophysis, kind of looked like this, small carnivores. But over time, dinosaurs grew into more larger, bigger, and deadlier animals. Now we are going to be talking about a pack-hunting dromaeosaur known as the Utah Raptor. The Utah Raptor was a large dromaeosaur that lived about 125 million years ago in the early Cretaceous. It was about the size of a man. It was actually the largest dromaeosaur. The Utah Raptor was covered in feathers like its cousin, Velociraptor. The group of dinosaurs that had feathers probably were the ones that evolved into modern day birds today. Now we are going to be talking about a bizarre fear from the Cretaceous era known as the Tyrannosaurus rex. Tyrannosaurus was actually a lot different than people thought it was. For instance, the Tyrannosaurus had feathers instead of scales. And also, Tyrannosaurus rex was more of a scavenger, meaning it would find dead animals that had already died and eat them instead of hunting. Now, some dinosaurs, such as Iguanodon, traveled in herds for one certain reason. Herbivores probably traveled in herds together, so when a carnivore came along, they could possibly hold him off. This was shown in the movie Dinosaur when the Carnotaurus tried to eat the herd of herbivores. 65 million years ago, a large meteor struck Earth that was about a mile wide causing a huge massive explosion, possibly spreading dust all over the world. And if the meteor didn't kill the dinosaurs itself, the dust covering the sun probably did. And also, the dust covering the sun would have caused climate change. Meaning the unfortunate end to our friends, the dinosaurs. Now we are going to be talking about reptilian flying creatures that lived alongside the dinosaurs known as pterosaurs. Pterosaurs were not flying dinosaurs, but actually their own type of reptile. These reptiles probably ate fish. In Jurassic World, it shows a pteranodon picking up a human. Is this possible? No. Pterodons could not pick up people. It would have to be the job of a more larger pterosaur than pteranodons. Now we are going to be talking about an aquatic reptilian known as the Mosasaurus that lived alongside the dinosaurs as well. Oh. The Mosasaurus probably ate slow moving prey, such as prehistoric sharks. Dinosaurs came in different shapes and sizes but they had something in common. They were fierce, deadly, and awe-inspiring. Thank you for watching our first 1000 Plus Earth Facts special. And if you want to see more facts videos, hit the red button below and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.